Hi folks, welcome to Black Bear's Detailed YouTube channel. Today I've got this Nissan Duke in. It's uh, in for a silver ceramic package. So, Stuart's machine polish, it's already been all prepped and ready for the polishing. I did that yesterday when the car got dropped off with me. So, I'm going to get cracked on. The uh, general body condition, there's uh, quite a lot of heavy scratching and some kind of key areas and the whole car is covered in swirl marks so this one's going to be good fun uh, so here we go, this will give you a general idea of what the paintwork condition is like it's pretty rotten but that's why it's been brought in with myself there's a deeper scratching and uh, sections along there uh, up there is pointed out, the roof is in a, in a similar condition to the rest of the car. But yeah, it's a uh, in with me for the full weekend, so I have plenty of time to get this little Duke looking spectacular. There we go, there's a little. Uh, can find it. Where are you? Yeah, I'll uh, we'll have to evict Mr. Spider. Yeah, here's a wee update. The uh, bonnet is looking a lot better. The uh, passenger side has been done. The driver side not done. Yeah, the, uh, there's a bit of a difference, as you can see. So yep, we a long slow progress, but it's always the same with polishing. So yep, gonna get on it and get the polishing stage finished. Okay folks, just a wee status update, uh, quite a 
quite a number of hours in and now it is currently pretty much 5 o'clock on the dot so we we'll stay for another uh, hour try and get this uh, half of the roof and the pillars done what's still to get done is the back section you can probably see all the, the swirls back bumper and rear quarter panel here driver's side uh, rear door and front driver's door the rest of the car is all done and the colour is absolutely fantastic beautiful gold metal flake through it uh, the, as I pointed out earlier, the general condition or the, the paintwork is quite poor, it's covered in swirls. The customer did request, uh, it's, it's just bought from Arnold Clark, did request them not to touch it, so they didn't touch this car, as it did go over it with, uh, with anything, so it's not a reflection of uh, Arnold Clark's preparation. So, what's still to get done is the after, obviously, this, this portion. There's the two coatings have to get put on. Uh, thereafter, the alloys are getting a ceramic coating on as well. Uh, yeah, so it's it's going along pretty well. Everything's uh, kind of going to going to plan. I've uh, changed the way my kind of packages are. Since it's down as it, what the bronze, the silver, and the gold package now. All the ceramic coatings are done over a minimum of two days now. I mean, as much as I absolutely love doing this, it was starting to get to me being up here for like 18 what like, kind of hours in a, in a row, basically working non-stop, not stop for lunch, eating on the hoof, ordering in pizzas. I don't like ordering in fast food, stuff like that. I like my home cooked meals. My missus loves cooking, thankfully. and. Uh, Quite frankly, I was just missing them too much. So all my packages are now getting done over two days. Uh, with the ex exclusion of the, the protection details, which are generally kind of five to six hours long. Uh, so yeah, it's a good thing for the customers as well because it gives me much more time to work in the cars. I'm basically budgeting 10 hours a day, so I've got 20 hours basically to work on the car and get the car looking absolutely fantastic. It means I can do wee extras, which I love doing, such as polishing inside of the doors, uh, getting the wheels off, basically getting right up inside the arches, make sure all they're all, they're all clean, they're all properly dressed. I'm effectively under no time constraints now. All the polishing as well, unless the car is in an absolutely hellish condition, the polishing is getting done to as near flawless as possible to effectively no extra cost to the customer unless I'm going to need to start breaking out wet sanding eh, or doing wet sanding techniques or getting into multi multi kind of stage of polishing i.e. three stages to get panels right then I might give the customer a wee phone up to say look to get this panel absolutely flawless it will be XYZ extra and then give it to the customer but as I'm going along the car because I've got so much extra time to work on the cars, I basically want the cars looking as best as possible, giving the best value for money as possible, and I just want the cars looking terrific, it's what I want to do. Uh, and to do it over the one day, I was just getting far too tired, uh, essentially, and missing my, my wife and my wee boy. Uh, at least you're doing this, I get to put them down to bed at night. So, uh, you might have, some of you might have noticed my, my tammy as well, uh, excuse my hair, I'm kind of growing my, I'm growing my hair out as well, uh, the my Black Girls Lane tammy. It's a, uh, I'm quite kind of proud sponsor, my first sponsorship, we'll put it up there, hopefully you can see it, is a uh, CFA Villa. It's uh, basically an unders football team, so they did. Uh, they reached out to me and asked if I could supply uh, or, or donate some money to supply some of their uh, winter training kit. So their, their tammies for the team and the, and the coaches were all uh, supplied gladfully. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, one of the uh, the mums that runs the, runs the team popped down and, and handed me a tammy in earlier on, which was great because it was freezing earlier. It was about five degrees when I came in here and I'd forgot my tammy. I thought it was my truck and it wasn't. So yeah, it was uh, written in the stars that uh, I'd get the Tammy, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, 
other kind of updates I've got, there's not a great deal to be honest, uh, still pretty much the same equipment I've got. I'm looking into getting possibly a new rotary polisher, uh, something which especially if I'm doing the kind of multi-staging standard, it'll help cut down another wee bit of time because the rotaries will just cut so much faster than the DA as well. Some of you don't know, the rotary goes round in an absolute circle, so it generates much more abrasion, much more heat and can just generally cut quicker because it's going round in a concentrated circle whereas the DA polisher goes round in a circle and also oscillates like that as you can see there uh, I do have a rotary it's an older one, it's not too great uh, it still works, works fine but I'm just kind of like I like new, I like kind of fancy things so I may look at getting another one of those I uh, was also speaking with uh, a chap who runs the Mayhem Run uh, don't know if he's of heard of it, if you've not, check it out on social media, check a look at it online it's the Mayhem Run it's a, a car lifestyle kind of weekend away almost it's uh, similar to kind of cannonball gumball type things and it's run in the UK uh, the chap reached out to me and uh, asked if I would like to be their detailer, uh, sponsor for it. So keep posted with that because I think there's going to be some carnage up ahead, some really nice cars, some unbelievably awesome weekends upcoming, uh, which I shall be party to. So I'm really looking forward to that. I did have to clear it with the missus first and uh, of course she was absolutely no bother at all uh, in fact she was quite keen on it because all I do is work so uh, yeah she was quite keen on uh, and we get involved with that so I absolutely can't wait there will be more posted up on that and certainly will be more vlogs uh, getting done as I undertake it so yeah that's where we're at with the Duke that's where we're at with uh, Blackbeard's Detailing and uh, this is where we're at with the hair. It's a. Uh, I don't know. How long is that? About an inch and a bit or something? But you know, it looks horrendous and now it's been under this hat for hours and hours and hours because it's freezing in here. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. I'm going to get, hopefully get the polishing of the roof and the covers finished before, uh, before 6 o'clock. What if we back down for half past 6? Uh, so I can see the see the wee one, play the wee one for a wee bit before I put them in for bath time and bed. And uh, yeah, I shall catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's a particularly chilly morning. It's uh, 4.2 degrees inside. Uh, so yeah, heaters are on. I have uh, a rather large coffee. Take no other uh, fast food places. That is a large coffee. Uh, not your normal large. That's a large coffee. Uh, and a baked roll. Uh, yeah, that Tim Hortons just opened up uh, about two minutes away from me. So uh, yeah, it's taking a serious dent in my profits, but totally worth it. Tim bits are phenomenal. Uh, yeah, so in last night and was able to uh, spend plenty of time with uh, my wee one and my wife. Back in, uh, it was just gone past uh, nine o'clock. Uh, again, it's great to see me able to start a wee bit later. Normally up here about seven o'clock in the morning, a couple of extra hours in bed just makes all the difference. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get fired on, get the rest of this finished. I've got the boot and the uh, couple of doors and the quarter panel to polish as I uh, spoke about last night. And uh, yeah, I can get that done. I uh, spotted as well when I was leaving last night. Uh, there's some rust around the rear hubs uh, on the brake drums so I'm going to give them a coating with fortress paint as well just where it's in and It'll just freshen up the, the kind of back, uh, the back the alloy wheel area. The wheels are coming off anyway to get the coating done, so it's only going to take an extra 15 minutes or so to, to do that. Uh, I would rather get that done, it's just going to make that wee bit extra. 
So yeah, I'm going to uh, eat my big roll before it gets too cold and hopefully the heaters in here on full burn will get it nice and toasty warm in no time. Going just half past three now. And the only thing that's left to do is put the window sealant on and do the ceramic coatings. Everything else is done. The brake drums painted, the alloys off, wiped down my PA, ceramic coated back on, uh, the plastics all dressed. So, do the windows, whole car. Get wiped down with uh, IPA and then the coatings will go on, and then that's the car finished. Uh, yeah, it's looking really, really, really good. The uh, just with the brake drums kind of sets it, sets it off as well, just makes that be bit look a lot newer. So, yeah, it's looking absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to, uh, so yeah, my missus came up with uh, a wee boy, and uh, these are astonishing. Belgian white chocolate and raspberry cookies. Yeah, they're awesome. Look, well, we have a cookie, can of Red Bull, and then just sit for 15 minutes, get a wee break, and then get this Wiener Sandwich finished. drop. 